All right, so cylinder leak down test on a Honda S2000. So this is my AP1 F20C1. Um, this is the piece that you thread into the spark plug hole. This is your leak down tester. So you plug this into there, and then you just need an air supply from your air compressor to go on the other side, and you adjust this regulator um, according to the sheet inside the compression tester and try to see what the gauges are and what the difference is between the gauges. Um, that'll give you your leak down for each cylinder. I have done cylinder one and three already. I'm on cylinder four, and I figured I'd just, it's the same process for each cylinder. You gotta make sure each cylinder is on top dead center. If you wanna know how to find top dead center, there's plenty of links out there, plenty of videos on how to show you how to do that. I'm not gonna show you how to do that right now, um, but I know I'm on top dead center, so I'm gonna go ahead and put 100 PSI to the cylinder, and we're gonna look at what the gauges say. All right, so once you have your air compressor hooked up, the regulator's turned down all the way, and you have over 100 PSI in your air compressor source, um, you're going to go ahead and set your primary gauge to around 100 PSI in my case. You can do it at 100, 90, or 75, my compression tester, or my uh, leak down tester says here. So I'm going to try 100. Um, I only have an 8 gallon tank, so I'm going to go ahead and raise it to 100 PSI here if I can get there in time. Alright, 100 PSI, and I'm at like 97 on the other one, 197. So that means I have 3% leak down in cylinder four. So that's how you do a leak down test. And you have 3% leakage on the cylinder. The engine's cold, so I, I guess when the engine's warm, you'll have less leak down because the rings will get warmed up and the cylinder walls will get warmed up. But you can listen where the, the air is escaping. You're always gonna have some leak down. So you can listen around to where the air is escaping and nine times out of ten with your S2000 it'll be leaking through the rings which is okay. All engines leak through the rings. Your main concern is really to listen to the intake on your car. Put your ear by your intake and if you hear nothing on your intake for any air hissing that means your intake valves are good. And then you can stick your head in the exhaust pipe of your car and listen for any hissing in the exhaust pipe. So if you do hear a hissing sound in your exhaust pipe when you put your ear up to it, that means you're leaking air past your exhaust valves. And either you have a bad valve seal against your head, or you, you have a bent valve or something while your seal is not happening between your cylinder head and your exhaust valve. If you do hear these, don't be alarmed. Just double check your engines on top dead center and, um, to make sure that none of the valves are actually opening from the cams. But um, if you follow the cam gear markings, uh, as I, I followed Rob Ribbonette's uh, form on, uh, and I'm sure you guys all know, I'll put the link in the description for how to do this, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look on how it actually looks on the car. So like I said, this cylinder has three PSI leak down on a cold engine. It's a very strong number. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my video. I will now show some screenshots, some pictures on the video from my phone. As you can see, cylinder one here has the highest leak down of all four. Um, 12%, 11 to 12% leak down with a cold engine on cylinder one. And I listened to the intake and exhaust. It's not leaking through the valves. So I would say the ring on cylinder one is a little, is in a little worse shape and not sealing as good as the other three cylinders. But um, the car still runs good. So I'm not too sure why this is off. It's only you know, it's only a six or seven percent difference compared to the other ones, which I read online. If you don't see more than like a fifteen percent difference between uh, a couple cylinders, there's not too much to be alarmed about because each cylinder will have its own kind of characteristics. Everything's not exactly the same, so.